Hi boys and girls and welcome. Today we've got some at desk games. These games would be great if you're stuck in the classroom looking for a brain break, an indoor recess, an indoor PE class, or maybe if you're at home and you just don't have a lot of space. Things you will need today are a plastic cup, it could be a disposable cup, or it could be a reusable cup. No glass cups, please. You will need some sort of ball that can bounce. Ping pong balls work great. You can get them at the grocery store usually for very cheap. If you don't have a ping pong ball, a bouncy ball, maybe a golf ball, or a tennis ball might work as well. And, and you will need something hard, such as a clipboard, a whiteboard, or a hardcover book. The first activity is called flip cup. All you need is your plastic cup. Hang your cup over the edge of your table, then flick it with your finger. Try to get it to land upside down, like so. Pause the video and practice that. The next activity is your ball bounce. I'm going to try to bounce my ball one time and land it in the cup. If you're looking for a challenge, try doing a double bounce. While you're practicing this, it's a great idea to have your other hand at the back of your desk. So if you miss, you can stop your ball before it goes onto the floor. Now would be a great time to pause the video and practice your ball bounce. The next activity is catch it, trap it. It combines the flip cup and the ball bounce. I'm going to catch it in the cup first and then trap it. If you're by yourself, you could practice that. See if you can do both in a row. If you have someone around you, like a friend or family member, or a classmate sitting in front of, to the side, or behind you, you could challenge them to a competition. You could see who could trap it, trap it, and oh, catch it the fastest. Now, if you're in a competition, if you mess up, you have to start over at the beginning. For example, if I've trapped it, and then I mess up here, I don't go right back to the trap it. I have to start over and I have to do the bounce again. Now would be a great time to pause the video and practice your catch it and trap it. Next, grab your hard surface item like your hardcover book, your whiteboard, or your clipboard. We're going to practice a self volley. I'm going to start with my ball on top of my clipboard and I'm going to try to tap it up in the air as many times as possible. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, nineteen, twenty. As you could see, I was doing little tiny baby taps. Once you've mastered the self volley, Try to do a volley hit off your clipboard and then let it bounce on the desk like this. Volley, bounce, volley, bounce, volley, bounce. Notice that I'm keeping my ball low and in control the whole time. My ball should never go up high or it should never be flying across the room. Pause the video and practice your volley and your volley bounce. These next games are collaborative ping pong games. You will need a partner to play these. If you're in class, you could ask the person who sits in front of you or behind you to play with you. Hey, Mr. W, would you play ping pong with me? Sure, awesome. You also want to stand up and push your chair to the side for these games. This is catch ping pong. I'm going to bounce the ball on the table. Mr. W is going to catch it. Let's catch with two hands to start.
If that's easy, you could try catching with one hand. Remember, these games are collaborative. We are on a team and we are working together. Now would be a great time to pause the video, find a partner, and practice your catch ping pong. Our next ping pong game is cup ping pong. I'm going to put the ball in the cup and then I'm going to toss it to Mr. W. Make sure that you catch it softly by cushioning the ball. If you hold your cup really still, it might hit the bottom of your cup and bounce off. Make sure to cut, catch it soft. Once you've done cup ping pong through the air, you can add a table bounce. Make sure to toss the ball up high enough so that it bounces off the table high enough. If I do a low toss, it's going to bounce really low. Pause the video and try your cup ping pong in the air. And then your cup ping pong on the table. Our final ping pong game is the ultimate challenge. It is ping pong with our hard clipboards, whiteboards, or hardcover books. This game is only for experts. I'm going to serve by hitting the ball out of my hand, and it's gonna fly over to Mr. W's board, and he's going to volley it back. We're volleying it back and forth. Here we go. Once you've volleyed the ball through the air with your partner, you can now rally the ball. You hit the ball with your board, and then it hits the table and goes to your partner. That's called a rally. Now you notice a few times it might not have hit the table, maybe we just volleyed it. One time it hit the ground and we kept playing. That's okay if you make a little mistake. Just try to keep it going back and forth between you and your partner. Thanks for watching our video and have fun with your at desk or at table games.